So, Mr. Heiser, you are uh, brought in on a warrant uh, with regard to a balance that you owe from this 2002 case in the amount of $811. The last payment that uh, was received from you was in 2010, amount of $25. Uh, you were put on collections. Uh, there was a show cause back in 2015, and there was a bench warrant that resulted. Uh, you haven't made a payment in more than 13 years. Uh, mentioned it was Judge Power, maybe Judge Rogers, who told you initially that uh, this wasn't going to go away and that you needed to resolve it. Well, here you are. Uh, right. Your payments were set at $25, uh, but we typically uh, now, since it's been 13 years, we set them uh, at uh, usually a minimum of $100. Are you working right now, sir? I just retired, sir. Okay. Uh, and do you have income coming in? Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, and are you able to afford a payment of $100 a month? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, and are you receiving W-2 income or 1099 income, or is it all uh, Social Security, for example? It's all Social Security. Okay. No other income other than Social Security? No, sir. All right. Well, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, what do you have available in your checking account right now? I have like probably $50 right now, but I will have more in the next couple of days. I just need to get out and I need to collect some money. I just sold one of my race cars. So I will pay, I will, I can pay it all in a matter of a couple of weeks. Well, that would be good, but here's what we're going to do. I'm going to require that you pay uh, $50 on or before November 1st, and then okay. the first of the month, each month thereafter, the amount of $50 per month until this matter is paid off. Uh, okay. As you just found out, uh, you can't ignore it, can't pretend like it doesn't exist, it will come back to haunt you. You should understand right. that, uh, that an order of payment is actually in order of the court, and that is uh, if you violate that can be contempt of court, which can be a separate criminal misdemeanor and can put you in jail for up to 93 days and result in a fine of 500 bucks. I don't want to do that. Uh, yes, I just sir. want you to get this taken care of. So uh, yes, sir. let's put you on that plan. Uh, $50 uh, a month starting on the 1st of November. If for some reason you can't make a payment, you better call in advance. Um, okay. And if you can get it paid off sooner, that's obviously to your benefit, okay? Okay, yes, sir. Thank you. All right, uh, we'll process the paperwork to uh, release you. It should be signed by the end of today, okay? Okay, thank you, sir. Take care. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring in Mr. Fish, I believe. All right, you're Mr. Fish, is that correct? That's correct. All right, yep. so we're going to go ahead and put you in a breakout room with uh, the MIDC attorney, Mr. Johnson. Uh, Tiara, if you would go ahead and take care of that, please. Okay, Mr. Fish is back with us. Let's go on the record. This is file 23-14658FC. It's the time being placed set for an arraignment on a warrant requested by the Grand Traverse County Prosecutor's Office. Court is in Leelanau County, but this is a Grand Traverse County matter. This is a Judge Hamlin matter and handling it on his behalf today. The warrant alleges uh, that the defendant violated his bond by exhibiting positive test results on the 25th and 26th of September on the 25th. The presumptive positive results were for amphetamine and cocaine and uh, only amphetamine on the 26th. Uh, the defendant is here along with uh, his attorney, uh, Mr. Johnson from the MIDC. Uh, we have Mr. Wilds here on behalf of the prosecutor's office, Ms. Henry from the clerk's office. Ms. Daniels doing our court reporting and we are handling, handling this matter by video conference Absent objection. So, Mr. Fish, 
Uh, you should understand that um, you know, what has been alleged against you is a violation of your bond. That can be considered to be contempt of court. Contempt of court is a separate criminal misdemeanor. It can result in a uh, sentence of up to 93 days and a fine of up to $500. You'd have all the same rights you have associated with any other criminal matter, including the right to go to trial, the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one would be appointed for you at the public's expense. You'd have the right to have the prosecutor prove your guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. They produce witnesses, documents, exhibits. Uh, you'd have the right to cross-examine their witnesses and present your own defense, including any witnesses that you needed. I would order that to happen. At the end of that hearing, Judge Hamlin would again make a determination as to whether the prosecutor approved their case beyond a reasonable doubt. Now, we can also review this as a bond matter. That's what I'm going to go ahead and do at this time, absent objection. Uh, Mr. Johnson, uh, does your client uh, have a position with regard to the uh, charges against him, or is he going to admit responsibility? Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, my client recognizes that he has the right to a hearing to contest these charges and to have Mr. Kane present for that hearing. He would be exercising that right today. Okay, we'll go ahead and set this matter for hearing. Uh, we'll go ahead and notify Mr. Kane of that hearing. Uh, and uh, it will be set in front of uh, Judge Hamlin here in the very near future. Uh, let's go ahead and have a conversation regarding bond. Do you have a motion regarding bond, Mr. Johnson? Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Fish indicates that this is a first of a potential bond violation, so he's been doing well. Otherwise, he is employed. He does also take care of, of his mother. Um, so we would be asking that, that bond be permitted in this case with terms that would reflect uh, the, the probation or the bond terms um, as well. So obviously testing would be uh, would be critical and, and he understands that he's under a microscope right now. Uh, but we would be asking for bond in this matter pending the hearing. Okay, thank you, sir. Mr. Wilds, uh, does the prosecutor have a position regarding bond? Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, it's my understanding right now he's testing uh, four times per month uh, randomly. Uh, the people would be asking for a more rigorous testing regimen um, and that he test clean before he'd be released. Thank you. All right, Mr. Fish, if we test you uh, today, are you going to test clean? Good. I will. I think. <laughs> Thank you. All right, that's all I want to hear. Okay. Uh, the question before the court is that a bond. Uh, Mr. Fish uh, has exercised his right I, I, to a hearing. Hold on. Mr. Fish has exercised his right to a hearing in this matter, and the court uh, therefore needs to consider a uh, bond. Apparently, this is, uh, Mr. Courtney's attorney, his first bond violation issue. Uh, the uh, underlying charge is of concern given that it is a methamphetamine case. It has not been proven, of course. Uh, but uh, that certainly concerns the court. It also concerns the court that the defendant is uh, uh, a third offense, uh, or at least charged third offense, a visual offender notice. That means he knows the rules. He knows how this system works. Uh, he knows what bond means, what it is, and what it isn't. He knows it's a two-way street, that in order for him to be out before uh, the trial of this matter or before it's ultimately resolved, he's got to comply with the rules. The rules are simple. Don't use. There's at least some evidence that he used. Uh, and that causes the court concern as well. Having said that, uh, it does uh, appear that bond is warranted in this case. I'm going to go ahead and grant bond. I'm going to modify his testing requirements, though, uh, to uh, weekly. Uh, and uh, I'm not going to require that he test positive in order to get out. Uh, it's a good idea, but. Uh, uh, let's uh, plan on him testing here uh, within the very near future. Uh, he'll certainly be within a week. And we'll know whether or not he's using or not. Uh, Mr. Fish, I want to be really yes. clear to you, if you violate at all in any kind of hot uh, test, uh, you should expect to spend the rest of the period before your trial or resolution of this case in jail. You understand? I do understand. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, we'll do the paperwork. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Adam. Tiara, I am thinking that uh, I, I know Mr. Grabowski is here. Uh, if we don't have a clerk for Antrim County, then uh, perhaps we should reschedule this. 
Okay. Mr. Grabowski, are you being held on any other matters other than this bench warrant? No. All right, so the only thing that you were brought in for was the bench warrant out of uh, Antrim County, is that right? Well, got the. Um, I'm here on another case, and uh, that's what I'm working. Uh, yeah, I'm still here. I'm a. I got a fifty thousand dollar bond here, out of okay. Madison County. All right. Well, look, um, we're going to go ahead uh, and call this matter. I'm going to arraign you on this, uh, and we'll just Tiara. I think what we'll do is uh, we'll just have to make an internal office note. So if you would kind of take notes here, and we'll okay. have to prepare it since the uh, Andrew County Court is important. Okay. Uh, it won't take much. It will be pretty straightforward. So, Mr. Grabowski, uh, you have been brought in, uh, it sounds like for a variety of reasons, but the reason you're before me today is the case going back to 2016 that was in front of Judge Power. That's file 16-4820FC. Uh, that is a case that you were sentenced for back in 16 or 17. Delivery or manufacturing, less than 50 grams. Uh, yeah, you you served your sentence on that, but you did not pay your fines and costs. You owe two thousand three hundred seventy eight dollars and fifty cents. Uh, do you have any money available today? There's no fucking way I'm going to pay a dollar of that oh. shit. All right. Number one, you're in court. You don't have the right to swear. You need to comport your behavior with the expectations of court or I'll hold you in contempt. Do you understand? I don't give a fuck. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cancel this meeting. Uh, the court will consider whether this uh, hearing, the court will consider whether or not to hold Mr. Grabowski in contempt for his clear violation of the court's instructions and uh, common decency here in court. Uh, and we'll have a conversation about that going forward. Uh, in the meantime, Ms. Keys, we'll go ahead and uh, see if we can get the Andrew County clerk set up so that we can uh, have her present at the next hearing as well, okay? okay? So we're going to adjourn this particular hearing. Thank you.